So it's the start of 2024 and what better way to start it than talking about what's going to be hot this year and what's not. And just remember, you don't need things to be popular or trending to wear them. So don't let this video stop you wearing what you love. If you like this video at any point, please do drop it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the video. So let's talk about legwear first. Now baggy jeans have been dominating the fashion scene for a while now, but I do think the trend has reached its peak. And I've noticed a lot of people talking about skinny jeans and slim fit jeans a lot more recently and that's a good indicator that things are starting to go that way. But like any trend this shift isn't going to happen overnight but I do think slim fit jeans will be a thing in 2024. And I do think skinny jeans will have their time again but they'll take longer to come back in so we're looking at 2025 or 2026 for those. It takes people time to get used to things and going from where we are now to skinny jeans is quite a big jump. Just look at how the baggy trend started. People didn't suddenly start wearing the wide fits they're wearing today overnight, it started off going from slimmer fits to more relaxed fits and then grew from there. But yeah, personally, I prefer the more fitted look, so I'll be wearing more fitted looks no matter what the trends are doing. But what do you think about this one? Next up, we've got leopard print. Now, I've been really enjoying the look of leopard print recently and it seems like I'm not the only one. I've been seeing a lot of brands that I love using it in tasteful ways and I think it's a great way to spice up an outfit. And I think the great thing about leopard print is it's really versatile and it's timeless, so this isn't a bad style to get behind. Even when the trend dies out, it will still remain stylish, so it will always have a place in the wardrobe, so it's never a waste of money. As long as you actually like it, that is. Anything's a waste of money if you don't like it, but I really like the look of this one, and I'm looking forward to playing around with it. Other popular patterns this year are going to be polka dots and stripes, and just like leopard print, there's never a bad time to pick those kinds of pieces up. Next up, we've got racing gear. 2023 was the year of the football show, but I do think that's on the way out and people are moving to other sports instead. Ski and snowboard gear have been making an appearance, but the one I'm seeing most at the moment is racing gear. There's been a massive push by certain brands and celebrities like ASAP Rocky have been sporting it. I think leather jackets like this are going to be everywhere this year, as well as these long sleeve tops. And even though they can look cool, I'm going to be leaving this one to others. These kinds of pieces just aren't my style and I don't think they've got a place in my wardrobe. And even though this trend could be a bit of fun, I would be a bit cautious of this one. This trend has all the telltale signs of being loved by many people and then hated on by those same people that loved it in a year or two's time. So if you're not quite sure about this one, I'd probably recommend that you sit this one out. Next up, we've got leather jackets. Now, leather jackets, they're a classic item and they've always got a place in the wardrobe, but I do think they're going to be really popular in 2024. I've been noticing a lot of brands that I like really pushing their leather jacket recently, and that's normally a good indicator that they're selling well for them and there's some really nice options to choose from. The only downside though is the price. They can be very expensive but I do think the right leather jacket is worth spending money on. A simple decent quality leather jacket is versatile and it's timeless so even though the upfront cost might be a little bit scary at first you're going to be wearing it for years so you will get your money's worth. And I will link some of my current favorites in the description box if you're interested along with everything else from this video. And if you don't have a lot of money to spend on a leather jacket it, don't cut corners, just buy second hand. You can get something more unique for a more affordable price that's good quality, so definitely shop there instead of buying cheap. Next up, we've got the rock aesthetic. With skinny jeans making a comeback in 2024, I do think we're going to see a lot more rock looks in 2024 as well. I think brands like Celine, Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent, however you want to say it, and All Saints are going to be really popular this year, and I love that kind of style. I've been seeing a lot more celebrities dressing up in the more rock and roll style and even Jonathan Ross had a sparkly jacket on from the brand Fix on TV the other day. That's probably not a good thing but it was his stylist that chose the jacket. Probably not Jonathan Ross. I definitely wasn't watching The Masked Singer either. Okay I was but there was nothing else on and it just came on and look at that person dressed as an egg. I couldn't stop watching. I can't actually stand that show though but it always seems to be on but anyway I digress. But talking about the brand Fix I do think they're one to look out for this year. I've been hearing a lot about them and I'm seeing them everywhere at the moment. They do some really cool looking stuff, very rock and roll inspired, so if that's your kind of thing then definitely check them out. But as well as the rock aesthetic, I do think we're going to see a lot more grungy styles in 2024 as well. Expect to see a lot more all black fits with loads of chains, loads of rings and bandanas 
as well. I think people are ready to embrace their inner goth and I know I'm ready. And I think the wallet chain might even make a comeback this year. Who had one of those? I did. A lot of you might be too young to remember those, but they were all the rage back in the day and I wore one every day to school. Mine was from the brand Animal and I absolutely loved it. I'll be leaving those to the kids this time round, but they have to make a comeback, surely. I think we're going to see a lot more men paint their nails this year as well. I know a lot of people did it in 2023, but I think we're going to see a lot more of it this year. It adds more interest to your outfit. It's affordable. Anyone can do it. And I really like the look of it. Let's talk about textures next. Sheer and crochet knits were big in 2023, but I think they'll be even bigger in 2024. I think men are getting a lot more comfortable wearing certain styles that they wouldn't have worn a few years ago, and I'm all for it. I think we're going to see a lot of this in the grungy and rocker kind of styles, but I do think we're going to see it a lot in other styles as well. But sheer and crochet knits are something that I'm really enjoying at the moment, and brands like Our Legacy are doing it really well. And also the brand Our Legacy, they had a massive year in 2023, and I think they're going to have another good year in 2024 as well. So we've got to talk about sneakers and what's going to happen with them in 2024. Now around this time of year, people always say that sneakers are dying out, but they forget it's winter, so most people are just wearing boots. Saying that though, I do think the excitement around sneakers has died down a bit. It has for me anyway, but let me know how you feel. And I do think the Samba trend peaked in 2023, so I think they're on the way out, but let me know what you think is going to replace them. And just before someone says Sambas aren't going anywhere, they've been around for decades, I know. But just because they've been around for decades and they've been stylish for decades doesn't mean they've been on trend for decades. Trends are cyclical and nothing can be on trend 100% of the time. It wouldn't be a trend then, would it? So even though I'm saying the Adidas Samba will be going out of trend, it doesn't mean it's not going to be popular in certain styles and on the indoor football pitch. It's still going to be worn by a lot of people. It's just not going to be trending anymore. Anyway, with the move across to slimmer jeans, I think slimmer silhouette sneakers are still going to be very popular popular, but to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure what direction the sneaker scene is going to go in, so let me know your thoughts. Next up, we've got the brand Supreme. I think the return of Supreme is just around the corner, and I know I've been saying that for over a year now, but I think 2024 is the year. I've just been seeing it pop up a lot more recently, and the time just feels right. You might not be ready for it, but I think enough people have had a long enough break from it now to reintroduce it back into the fashion scene. Now, I'm not saying it ever left the fashion scene. I've been seeing it the whole time, but it hasn't been as popular as it once was. All it will take is one big push by a certain celebrity and it will be popping off again. Next up, we've got 2010 fashion. Now, I've heard a lot of people saying that 2024 is just going to be 2010 all over again, and I can see why. The Y2K style is on its way out, so it only makes sense that what came after that in the past will come after that now. And a lot of the things in the video that I've talked about were popular in 2010, but I've heard a lot of people aren't happy about this one. But don't let trends annoy you. You can't do anything about them anyway. They're going to happen anyway, and you don't have to take part in them if you don't want to. And remember, none of this matters if you're dressing for yourself anyway, but I still think it's fun to talk about. But let me know what you think about my predictions, and let's carry on the conversation down in the comments. If you enjoyed this one, please do leave it a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. See you later.